What's going on everyone? Welcome back to my channel. So today I'm gonna show you guys how I use my strategies on TradingView. So I'm gonna show you what indicators I use, how to use those indicators, and how to set and split your screen, your uh, how to set up and split your screen and also to reference it back to cash trap. All right, let's do this. Okay, you guys, so this is trading view okay so right now it is sunday at 7 20 p.m the market just opened so we are going to i like to be on a one minute and a three minute in trading view and then obviously for my cash trap this is on a five minute here so let's set this up to get us ready so we can start doing trades so these are the indicators i use to go in for my snipe moves the first one will be oh wait so here let's go through this this right here is where you change your um currency pairs so you just type it in and then you would get your currency pairs that you like from here this this button right here this is what's going to change your candle time so either one minute three minutes five minutes 15 minutes 45 an hour one day whatever here is where we're going to do our indicators and strategies so let's grab this so our indicator our first indicator is going to be a bollinger band i already have mine saved but you can just simply type it in and it will pop up boom just like that once i have my bollinger bands on i like to have my top ones red and then my bottom ones green and then this one probably maybe even white so how you do that is i click here i click on settings and then i would go to style and upper bands i would like you to be red do we got a red in there yeah that's decent enough we can actually make the lines a little bit you know darker and thicker and then i'll go back to input and hit oh yeah oops then the lower bands yeah we're gonna keep that green but we're gonna actually make the lines a little bit thicker and hit okay you guys seeing that beautiful we can keep this at this color too i'm okay with that the next indicator that i need is my ema which is my moving average this one helps me to let me know if we're in a seller's market or if we're in a buyer's market so let's add that okay so my ema which is right here click i'll move this off the screen and it's right here in this purple but i'm going to change my ema to a white line so i'm going to click here see ema settings change this color right here to white make it a little bit darker why not even thicker that's even perfect actually and hit okay boss the next thing i'm going to do is i'm going to add oops my stochastics so we're going to add that and then so this is just pretty much momentum and watching and i'm going to show you guys how i use all of these indicators but we need to change the settings for the stochastics so we're going to go back into the settings here and i'm going to just change around my colors okay so my upper band i would want it to be red my lower band i want it to be can be blue or green totally up to you guys I just want this to be black and oh I would change the the line work all right I guess that's thick enough and then we'll change this one to this one I'm cool with that and I also want my lines I, I want these to be white actually I'm okay with that. Oops, and my bad. I need to go back in there. We need to change the input. This is going to be 533. There we go. And okay. The next indicator that we're going to be using is the RSI right here. So, what I do for that as well, we're going to go into the settings, change this to 6 change the style the background to black uh change my upper bands to red thicken that line 
my lower bands to, oops, we need you, to blue, thicken that line as well. My RS line, RSI line to white, I'm okay with that as well. And okay, and you guys, these are just my color preferences. You can do whatever you want. It's your trading view, it's your screen. I also have trading view pro plus. So this is the reason why I'm able to add all of these indicators. Hit okay. Now my RSI, my stotch are perfect. Another indicator that I really love to use is the MACD. So I'm gonna show you guys that. Let me grab that, see MACD. Perfect. And that's right over here. I do not change anything with my MACD. And there's one more. So yes, I know that the moving average tells me that it is a buyer's market or if it's a seller's market. And how you know that obviously if your EMA is on the bottom of your candles, that means that it is a buyer's market. And if the EMA is on top of your candles, that means it is a seller's market. But because I like to go in front of my snipes for two minutes, I like to kind of see what's going, excuse me, I like to see what's going on right away. So what, another indicator that I like to watch is the parabolic SARS. And let's do this. So that's right here, these little dots. And this tells me if it's gonna push down, push up, and it's a little bit more accurate, okay? So we're going to just switch up my colors here. I'm gonna switch that to more of a hot pink. And I'm going to change this. We're gonna keep that darken up a little. Probably that one's more perfect for me so I can see it. And okay, now this is my madness, you guys. This is how I go in with my moves. And I'm going to explain something to you guys, okay? <clears throat> So right here, so just say that the US dollar was stronger than the Euro, right, at this point. So we were going in for a sell and I was going in for a snipe move and I'm going to show you. So yeah, it says in the MACD that this was a buyer's market, but it was losing momentum on this. Also right here, it was overbought and it was now crossing down. And same with this RSI as well, it was crossing down and losing momentum. And I would have went in for a snipe move right here at price 657 and would have closed at 649. Oop, wait, hold on, let's see, 650. But you could have even all went in. Oh, you could have even all went to three minutes and still and still killed that. Even if you went in for four minutes, killed that, and five minutes. Even if you went for a full five minutes, you would have won that, or in a three minutes. This is why I look for different type of indications. I like to have four plus or more. Sometimes if I get six, I know it's a bang. Sometimes if I get four or five, I'm still confident enough to know what I'm doing. So this is pretty much my setups. I'm looking for things to be overbought, crossing down and having all of this and touching my Bollinger Bands. Sometimes here, right over here, you can see my parabolic dots. Some of them weren't always telling me to go in of what, how my market's moving, but sometimes it does and I kind of go in for the snipe move. But like I said, the Bollinger Bands, my Stoch, my RSI, my MACD and my EMA. Another thing what I like to do, if you guys look over here, I like to split my screen. So it says one minute and one minute, but none of my stuff are all here, right? So what I gotta do is I will click on here, change this to three minutes. Now we're at a one minute and three minutes. I'm gonna click back on this square box and I'm gonna go back to my indicators and add my babies. There we go. And now I gotta just edit my inputs. Remember this was our SI was number six. We're gonna hit okay. We are going to go to the starch and we were going to hit a number five. Okay. And then we can keep the colors here for now, that's fine. And then, oh, what are we missing here? Back to my indicators. EMA, there we go. Everything is there now. So my three minute and my one minute and we're matching. So now I can see, okay, what's happening? We now have 40 seconds left on this candle. Oops, we have, let's get this going. I can't see, 
We have 28 seconds left on this candle, or 27 matching, matching, and then a new three minute candle is going to appear here. So this is how I'm going to know, am I ready to be going in for a sell, if I'm ready to go in for a buy, and I'll be watching this. Another point that helps me a lot is my hourglass. Let me go into here. So I've done a video already on hourglass and I broke down everything how to use hourglass, cash trap in hourglass, I mean. So what I like to do is, I'll, this will be on another screen for me. So I'd be watching this and a new one would start right now because it's 7.30, so a new trade would be going in. And um, I would kind of be like, okay, it's saying that we, this is a seller's market. Stotch is about to cross. Our size about to cross. We're on the top Bulliger band. Um, it was a seller's market for the EMA, but then let me like go through here and let me watch this now. Now I'm like, okay, there's three minutes left on this candle, well, two minutes and 33 seconds on this three minute and one minute here. But this is showing me we're still in a buyer's market here. So do I really want to go in right now? But Hourglass is telling me it's ready to go for a sell. But for my quick snipe for my two minutes, it wasn't strong enough. And I was not going to do that. So you guys, I hope you enjoyed how I set up my trading view. And if you have any questions, make sure you like, subscribe, and comment. And I would love to answer any questions that you have.